In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for NO. This is nitric oxide or nitrogen monoxide. It's a bit of a strange compound. If you look at the Lewis structure, this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure for NO, but we do have this electron all by itself. If we try to use this chart here to figure out the molecular geometry, the problem is there's only two atoms here in NO, and our chart has three or more. So this really won't help us. Let's try to visualize the molecular geometry of NO. Remember that we have a double bond here. So let's say the purple is the nitrogen, and then we have that double bonded oxygen. We end up with a linear molecular geometry. If we had a single bond, it would still be linear, a straight line. And if we had a triple bond, it would still be linear. So it really doesn't matter. If you have two molecules, you're going to have a linear molecular geometry. The atoms will always be in a straight line. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. Note that you'll sometimes see this Lewis structure drawn like this, and we would have lone pairs on the either side of the nitrogen and the oxygen here. But again, this is going to give us a linear molecular geometry because there's only two atoms. So it can only be a straight line with a bond angle of 180 degrees. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for NO, nitric oxide, also called nitrogen monoxide. Thanks for watching.